global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Of course, quite a lot is still happening in River State, but right now, uh, Senate Bay is beginning to speak up concerning quite a lot of things. And of course, um, many Nigerians are wondering what's the way forward. Elders of River State are they going to keep mute and watch um, the, the drama that is about to unfold? Don't forget that um, some of the judgments uh, that was passed by um, Joyce um, uh, Justice Abdul. Malik was the fact that um, they should halt the allocation. Of course, Fubara cannot borrow, okay? He cannot borrow, so he cannot run the uh, the state using uh, borrowed funds. And he has, of, of course, has about 90 days, of course, to, to appeal this matter. And, of course, after which, even within that 90 days, I presume that there will still be funds and allocation going in. But after that 90 days, if nothing is being done, if he doesn't appeal it, then uh, the, the sledgehammer of the the, the judge would begin to take effect but let's find out really uh what Sar asari Bey is saying concerning to the several lawmakers and what they did and their effect in reverse state as we speak but before we do that kindly subscribe to our channel now according to the news reverse state governor for Fubara has actually urged his supporters to remain resilient in the face of recent judicial decisions now the judgment viewed by many as an attempt to destabilize the state has sparked significant backlash from individuals and groups alike now critics argue that this legal ruling will exacerbate the already challenging circumstances faced by the populace a sentiment echoed by prominent figures in the community chief Anas. Sarigbe, a former spokesperson for the Pan Ninja Delta Forum, that's Pandef, and a member of the River State Elders Forum, expressed his discontent with the proceedings, stating that the burden now lies with the governor. He expressed hope that the decision would, would be contested in the Appellant Court. Let me quote him word for word. He said, look, the attitude of the judge from the beginning of this case shows bias. And when a judge shows open bias, it's very unfortunate, Igbe said. Now, his remarks underscore concern re regarding the impartiality of the judiciary. Uh, let me quote him again. He said, people wrote petitions against you. you. You are not ready to listen. You don't want to step down. And we are saying you are biased. You're not interested uh, we are trying to change lawyer. We said no. File motion. You said no. So it's very clear that the person, which is the judge now, had a hatchet job to do, which she has done. Despite the gravity of the situation, Igbe remained hopeful. He said, this is not the end of the matter. There is the court of appeal. We are going to the court of appeal. But, but very soon, very soon, these 27 lawmakers will know where they are. They are dragging themselves to deep shit. The governor is not willing to take certain actions. But I believe that at this point in time, we will know whether he will take those actions or not. Adding to the chorus of discontent, frontline activist and EJ leader, Ankyo Briggs, Ankyo Briggs, criticized the motivations behind the judgment, labeling those she perceived as adversaries of the state as relentless in their effect and their effort to undermine the local government. It is unfortunate that those I call enemies of the state would go to any extent to cripple the state, Briggs lamented. However, she expressed a sense of optimism, insisting that despite the court's decision, River State would ultimately prevail. Word for word, let me quote her. She said, we will survive despite the court judgment. As the political landscape in River State remains volatile, the implication of the court's decision continues to reverberate throughout the communities. And of course, uh, there was this news that went viral some few hours ago. Well, the um, River's government have decided to address it. The attention of the River State government has been drawn to the, the unscrupulous news from the uh, item that circulated on social media that titled Governor Simla Lai Fubara shutting down NNPCL and all companies in River State. Now, the report was not only false, but a concocted propaganda from the imagination of the author and enemies of the state. The story was also circulated by an inconsequential and unverified medium. Governor Simla Lai Fubara is committed 
to the rule of law and does not rely on unconventional and crude approaches to respond to matters of governance. We therefore enjoin Rivers people and well-meaning Nigerians to discountenance this book, the fake report as Governor Simlalai Fobara at no time contemplated and or directed such needless order of shutting down the economy for any reason. Of course, this is signed by uh, Warisi Nibor Joe Johnson, which is the Honorable Commissioner. Asari Gbe said something very unique. He said the 27 lawmakers are actually dig digging a deep shit. And he, he believes very strongly that the judge had not been fair in all sincerity to River State. Now, with what Asari Gbe is saying, it clearly shows that some of these elder statesmen are also watching what is happening in River State. And, you know, it, it's really uh, worrisome, judging the fact that he was one time spokesperson of Pandev and is also among the elders for, uh, of course, the likes of uh, the person of um, Dele Momodu. Some few hours ago, screamed out that are there no elders in the land? Why are they watching their two illustrious sons, you know? literally turn the state upside down because of their political you know disagreement this is something that an elder should you know call these two uh, sons your brothers you, you are from the same same state you guys are doing greatly and uh, one now is the national figure the other person now is the governor you know whatever it is settle it amicably within the compound within the state doesn't have to go escalating to the point that foreigners um or other regions will begin to come in and begin to say now you find trouble no it is you that find trouble so he's saying that where are the elders of the land like my people will always say there's no way an elder will be in the house and then um, go to be in the hole or forced into the hole of course that's the beauty of the elder he will always supervise you know that the goat is set free or even there's no way an elder will be in the, uh, in the house and an erring child will find its way into a tit pit of course that's the beauty of the elder he will ensure that no such grievous incidences happen it's in the house that's the beauty of an elder with respect and uh, you know i guess before it got to this level Many elders must have tried to, you know, see how they can wade into this matter. But apparently some persons just believe that um, it's mine. We are not settling anything. The only way there will be peace is give me, give me all. You know, and uh, it doesn't work that way. And, and, and I, I, Honorable, King, Honorable Kinga has almost taken it literally personal to be updating Nigerians on the constitution and the laws of the land, the way it is, the way it's being spelled in the constitution. And then again, just a few hours ago, he did mention what is constitutional and the judgment that is not in consonance with the, the automatic process of the constitution. And some of these, you know, judge, judgments are just flying from back and center. But then again, uh, Fubara has just about 90 days, really, uh, 90 days great grace period of which I perceive he will still be getting all his um all these funds allocation reverse fund. but after that uh, he's they are going to appeal it but what nigerians are asking now is will fubara in all sincerity get judgment justice if already uh i'm twisting according to some elders they believe that i'm twisting is already going on right now uh, but based on what the justice said is basing it on some of the things that was brought before her but then again let's see how this plays out like um uh, elder asarik be chief asarik be said said all of this now the buck now falls on the shoulder of fobara let's see how he reacts and of course as debunked that fake news that went viral yesterday so a few hours ago uh, that um nmpcl had been shut down and now his communication uh, minister is saying that they don't even they're not conceiving it Okay, that's looking at through the pathway of peace. Uh, if you ask me, that's a good one. I hope that um, he will be able to maintain that pathway and still find a way of, you know, governing a river state. Don't forget that they mentioned just two states, really, that can survive on its own, Lagos and River State. Let's see the ingenuity of um, uh, uh, the River State governor, similarly for Barra, how he navigates this very turbulent moment in his governance. Let's interact in that conversation. That's going to wrap it up. What's the take? Have a nice time.